Next, we want to look at the label train spots command, which will quickly label the elevation of a single point. Let's window area in a little bit closer around one of these buildings. And then still on the train tab, the labeling group, we want to select label terrain spots tool. We'll identify the train model by clicking on one of the contour lines. We want to set our text style to label center center, the dimension style to label plan train spot elevations, and horizontal text rotation, automatic location, and automatic horizontal attachment. Then as you move your cursor out into your view, you'll see the heads up prompt is dynamically updating the elevation as you move your cursor. So select a location and place a data point, and then as you move your cursor, you'll see a leader line and the elevation at that point. Place a second data point to actually place that label. Now we move to another location, place another data point to select the location, a second to place the label and the leader line and then just reset to exit the command. The next tool we want to look at is the Analyze Points tool. Again, on the Train tab, we want to go to the Analysis group, and under Point, select the Analyze Point tool. We'll click on a contour line to select the element that we want to analyze. This will identify the train for us. And then as you move your cursor, you'll see information start to display. Over in the dialog that's come up, we want to toggle off display contours, display contours in the view, display slope. We want on and for right now let's turn display triangle off. And then move your cursor back on the view and you'll see the slope being displayed with a directional arrow as well as the elevation slope and aspect information on the heads up prompt. And again select a location, I'm just go out here in the middle of this field, place a data point, and the slope and directional arrow is placed. Again, continue moving your cursor and placing data points to place this annotation. And then let's go back to the dialog and turn the display triangle option on. And we'll come back over and you'll notice now that there is a triangle being displayed along with a directional arrow. And if you place the data point the slope, directional arrow, and triangle are displayed in the file. The triangle that's displayed indicates the actual triangle of the train model for the point that you selected, and the directional arrow will show the direction that that particular triangle is sloped. And let's reset out of this command. And the next command we want to look at is analyze between two points. Again, on the analysis group under points, we want to select Analyze Between Two Points. And following the heads up prompt, we need to select a train model element. And then we're prompted to select a start point. And I'm going to come, let's see, kind of the bottom side of this building, place a data point. And then as I drag my cursor, the slope is displayed of the line leading to the second point. And you have elevation, slope, distance, and angle information displayed on the heads up prompt. Place a second data point. We'll place that line and the slope in the file. And then you can go to another location. You're still active in the command. Place two more points to get the slope between those two points. Reset to exit the command and this concludes this exercise. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.